Hello viewers and welcome. This is Don Dan here and this is my new video. Now you may notice something really different about this video to all my other videos. I'm still driving, but I'm driving a train. Yes, that's right. You may think it's crazy, but I've finally taken the plunge and got myself the Steam edition of Train Simulator 2015. Now, this is my very first voyage and I've let you come along for the ride. This is the UK, after all this is where I live and I've done all the academy tasks for this sort of train and now it's time to take the plunge to the deep end. Now, as you all are aware, I'm very very noobish at new games. Even racing games I'm a bit noobish. So I have taken the plunge in the basic controls just to get used to it. Now, I want to go into the more realistic side of it, so I will be using the more expert controls in the future. But to start with, I'm going for the basics. I'm only going for the standard controls, the up, the down, the throttle, the whatever it is, or the opening the doors, whatever that sort of stuff is, I will be using it. But then I will be getting a bit more complex. So, this is on the King's Cross Greater Northern Line, which goes from King's Cross to Peterborough, all that area around that way. It's run by First Capital Connect in this game, however it's now just Greater Northern Line who have taken over from First Capital Connect as of last year. This is in King's Cross Station, which I've probably just left, and I will be heading to Crystal Palace Station. This is just a one-line run. I'm only going to one station, this is all I'm doing. I'm just going to go from here to A to B. I'm not going to stop anywhere in between. This is just a constant now, all the way. But I thought this would give a nice constant sense of speed the graphics and the basic side of things just to get myself used to the game and get used to the adventure side of things because this is really something different I'll be seeing trains coming in and out, people on the platforms, I'll be going through some stations but also be trying to make sure that I get the stopping right on the station itself that I'm in I am only using four carriages, this is only the basic carriage set I didn't want to go too far into the deep end, I didn't want to take on the eight carriages, I only wanted to take on a small number so I could definitely get onto the platform, get everything right, get my braking distances, get the throttle distances, sort of the speed up and the speed down. I didn't really want to take it too far, but this is this is a good sense of what is to come. So, the train I'm using is the British Rail Class 365 train, which has been used on the line for quite a while now. It was used from 2006 on one line and now to up to 2014 on the first Capital Connect service and now it's also being used but just on the Greater Northern Line. Now this train was built in York at the ABB factory and it was in fact the very last train sort of engine that they made there at the ABB factory in York until it got closed down. So this really is a piece of history. I mean this is a nice nice train it really is interesting to drive it's got a nice smooth sense to it it sounds really nice and easy to drive it is electric you'll be out of here it's electric it is a dual voltage electric train and that really does give it that sort of modern sense of things a lot of the trains down south here on the southeast coast or whatever is 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 electric i mean the little line from my town into the town the bigger town area is a diesel but apart from that most of the trains except for the freight liners which come here as well they're all electric so that is definitely overtaken now diesel in terms of the riding of it there are a few trains in this game which use diesel which i'm going to try and also there's a coal train yeah it's a coal train it's like a really old steam locomotive which i'm really looking forward to trying it looks really difficult and really old-fashioned so it's definitely something i'm going to have to watch out for Now in terms of running smoothly the game, it does run pretty well. As you'll be able to see I've been looking around the cabin, I've been looking around different areas, different camera angles, and you'll be able to see that it does run really well. I mean it's a little bit a little bit jagged in some places. It's on the uh, very high setting I believe, very high setting. And whilst that is really good for the most part, when you get into like an area with a lot of lines and a lot of trains, it does lag somewhat. And you will be able to see this in the video, but apart from that, it's kind of constant on 60 frames a second, it's it's really nice, the graphics are awesome, you'll see cars coming down the uh, roads to the side of the train line, which is really cool, I do really like that. And also you'll be able to see nice detail on the platform, people, you'll see the lines, you'll see the right, you know, the rails, you'll see the 
the lights and everything so it really is very very detailed very realistic and it's definitely something that I'm going to be wanting to try some more of in the near distant future anyway this going on for obviously this game I would be hoping to do a lot more I'll be wanting to do a lot more of this because it looks like a really fun game there's a lot of different areas which I can go into there's a lot of different countries as well I believe I know there's some in Munich, Germany. I also believe there's one in America or two in America. I'm not quite sure, but there's definitely one in America that I can remember of. And there's also the UK line. Now these are the four basic stanchions that come with the Steam build. You can buy add-on packs, including the line that I take when I go to London, and also ones that you can buy from the Greater Northern Line, whatever, all, all the way up in the north of the country. Scotland I believe and also going all the way around Europe, America, Australasia I believe as well. It's going to be really cool and something that I hope to put a lot more time and effort into when I get the chance to. So this is definitely going to be something that I hope to keep as a long term thing and hopefully you guys are going to really enjoy it because there's going to be some fun times when I fail but there's also going to be times when I do really well and I'm going to be learning a lot more about the history of the trains. I'll be talking to you guys about the trains and I'm looking to do sort of segments on trains so just maybe a video or two on each specific train going down a line or two on that train and also talking to you a bit more about that train itself because these motors can be you know these locomotives and everything they're really interesting there's a lot of history to them and usually they come with a lot of information about them which I've been looking up especially on this class 365 I never knew that it was built directly for this line and I never knew that it was run on three different, three different um, train suppliers or whatever, whatever for it even is even now. So they're still using it, even though it's quite an old sort of train. They're still using it, and it's definitely something I'm going to be looking into for other trains, and maybe even buying the other expansions because that's going to be really fun. But for now, this is going to be the end of my talking on this video. I do hope you enjoy it. I do make the platform, I believe. I think I do make the platform just about okay. It was a bit of a squeeze. I kind of left it a bit late to put the brakes on at one point, but as you'll see, I do have a bit of problem with the throttle control every now and then. I sort of go a bit high, maybe a bit low. It's just keeping it on that constant, just keeping it enough so it ticks over and it keeps on going, but it doesn't slow down or go too fast, which will give you points deduction. That's definitely something I'll be going into and talking about in a segment in the next video. I'm going to be talking about how the point system works and the career mode works. I haven't started career yet, I've just done the academy and a few quick runs. And this was the very first one. So anyway guys, I'm going to leave you now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you're brand new, subscribe and hope to see you again for some more train simulator videos very soon. Peace out guys, enjoy the video.